Wednesday's hearing was conducted entirely behind closed doors. The key witnesses were scheduled for re-examination due to recent developments. The National Security Minister Albert Kandapa and Chief Bugiri Nabu provided answers to questions from committee members. The chairman of the committee, Samal Atachia, told the media about the committee's inability to access an important national security document. The first person we called upon was the Minister for National Security, Honorable Kandapa. And the reason why we called him is that Superintendent, Superintendent Asari had confessed that he appeared before the National Investigation Bureau. So we will not do a shoddy job by not calling the minister who has superintendents over that bureau, the NIB. So he came to say indeed and in fact, um, he, um, the NIB called Superintendent Asari and the rest of them in relation to the same lifting and they've done a lot of work on it. It's an interim report, but you not share it with us. Because if you care to know, it's a national security document, it's not declassified. He spoke about the IGP's absence at the meeting. So, President Asari, um, COP Mensa, um, um, and the rest of them, even um, Chief of Bukri Nabu, they were present. The only person who couldn't show up was the IGP, although it was pencil for today. And then they agreed with what the Minister for National Security said. And then it was accordingly discharged. Atachina revealed the next plan of action for the committee. But because of the nature of what is happening, we want to do a thorough job and end quickly. The nation cannot be chewing on this matter for too long because it has a bearing on the security of this country. The head of internal security, if you care to know, the Inspector General of Police, is part of what we are trying to interrogate and we should end it as quickly as possible. The case has been adjourned to the second, the third, the fourth and the 5th of October without fail. Duke Mento Poku, TV3 News, Parliament House, Accra.